Earlier this spring, Tim put an ad on Craigslist for tilling services. We got lots of calls, but most of them were for gardens. This homeowner has a unique purpose for his tilling. Come along and see. Ty is an engineer and has a well thought through plan for what he wants to do with his yard. He even sent Tim a picture of the areas he wanted tilled. The homeowner here actually sprayed the area he wants tilled with Roundup. I think he said he sprayed it twice and then he mowed it really short, which is helping, but it's still pretty wet. secluded back in there whenever they all grow nice and big. I figure one day who knows what's going to be across the road. Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's probably right. Hopefully you can see Tim way up there. He set the tiller um, not quite as deep and it's going a little bit better because the ground is still kind of wet. The homeowner here is going to plant it with switchgrass and wildflowers, which ought to be very pretty. Right now he doesn't have a tractor and I think he's going to have to invest in one with this much property. He's trying to decide which kind of tractor he's going to get. He likes John Deere, but a lot of his friends have Kubota. I'm thinking little Johnny may have just about bit off more than he could chew with this job. It's uh, pretty hard going. It's just a little bit too wet. Yeah. It would work down really well if we could leave it for a few days, maybe let it get a little rain. Yeah. And then till it again. Yeah. But as it is, uh, he thinks it's good enough, right? Yes. So and it, may be, it may be just perfect for this type of situation. For a garden, it would need a little more work. Right. But I think Johnny's doing okay. You know, a lot of the shaking you hear is in the quick hitch and in the, uh, you know, some of the mechanism right at the top of the quick hitch. It's not in the tiller. Okay. Okay, better get back to it. All right. Now we're going back into an area where he's going to plant a food plot for wildlife. He's hoping that they'll be able to watch the wildlife from the house. He's already got trees planted in here too. This homeowner had just moved into the house last August, I think he said. And he really wants a tractor, but uh, I think they had to remodel the kitchen first. A little bit like us. The sun's really pretty shining on it now. It's about 8 o'clock, so I thought I would walk this and just show the rest of what needs to be done because it might get dark before Tim gets it all completed. And then the strip goes all the way back to the fence back there. This is a beautiful home site. You can barely see Tim down in there, but he's uh, still doing the little patch for the food plot for the wildlife. I have wildlife up here. Look, it's a cat. cardboard in between the rows and then straw over the top of it. I'm sure that keeps all the moisture in. With Ty's detailed planning and the great job tilling that Johnny did, the family will soon be enjoying wildlife and wildflowers. Hope to see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.